This is the game of the month for August 2019, and it was narrowed down to two of them. And both of these were extremely latecomers, they both came out in the last week of August, and that is Astral Chains for the Nintendo Switch, and Control, which I played on the PC. So I want to discuss Control first. Control has really taken me by surprise, I've really been enjoying it. So I got it for free with my GPU, I just upgraded to a 2080 Ti, and I got Wolfenstein and Control for free. And I've really been enjoying it. I, it took me by surprise. I really didn't expect much from Control just because I didn't really hear and see a whole lot. And the only reason I even really looked into it was because it was a free game. And man, I gotta say, it's pretty great. I've really been having a lot more fun with it than I thought I would. It reminds me a lot of a PS2 game called PsyOps that was from Midway. And that game was a lot of fun. You had like all these crazy abilities similar to Control and it was just super over the top. And this one is a lot more grounded, it's got a very cool story. It's made by Remedy, the guys that did Alan Wake. And it's really good, like, story-wise it's very cool, very different. Um, you're, like, in a government facility where they're doing all these weird experiments, and it's kind of like Stranger Things-esque, and I I've really been enjoying it. I've been playing it more to progress the story, but also the awesome gameplay and the graphics. I mean, graphically this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's pushing the consoles to the absolute limit. And that's kind of how you know we're at the like peak for these consoles. This game is absolutely pushing it. Even with this 2080 Ti, it's still pushing it. I've got ray tracing and everything maxed down. It's still at times it does stutter a little bit. Graphically, this game is beautiful. And gameplay-wise, it is a blast. I'm really having so much fun with all these abilities. And just nothing's more satisfying than just like picking up a giant like mech and just throwing it at somebody and breaking glass and papers exploding everywhere and all these explosions it's a lot of fun the gameplay is really it's great i mean everything about this game i'm really enjoying i don't really have anything negative to say besides it's very taxing on your computer if you got this thing at max um if you do play it on console i've heard that it's a little taxing for the ps4 and the xbox if you have the ps4 pro or xbox one x definitely play it on one of those um, upper tier consoles for sure but yeah, it's been a great game. Um, the next game, it's kind of funny, is like so complete polar opposite of this game. That's Astral Chains for the Nintendo Switch, made by Platinum. Those are the guys that did Nier, Bayonetta, um, a bunch of other hack and slash games. And I am a huge, gigantic sucker for Platinum games and hack and slash games. Absolutely love them. One of my favorite genres of games, for sure. Oh man, this game is pretty great. I've been waiting for this one for a while, ever since I saw it. And... Graphically, it is a complete 180 from uh, Control. This game is not a looker by any means. It's not bad. It's got beautiful colors. I like the anime style. It's it's very very pretty game. But compared to Control, it's not even it's not even close. I do wish this one came to PC and the other consoles just to kind of see what Platinum could have done with it. But I mean, it's cool that they are still making games with Nintendo, and I'm glad that this game came out. And it's not bad by any means. It just I would have liked to have seen it at a higher resolution, a little bit higher frames. But it's it's a very unique and good looking game in its own right just comparing it to control it's it's very it's apples and oranges you can't really compare them but gameplay wise you also i mean you can't compare anything about these games gameplay wise this is definitely a platinum game and this is one that i did not enjoy for about the first two two and a half hours it's a slow burn for sure um you're given this astral chain which connects you to basically a demon um it's called a legion in the game and when you get it you can control it and you kind of get like the hack and slash abilities and it was fun, but it was very limited and I just, I wasn't enjoying myself that much. Then you, you hit a point of the game where it's like, oh, okay, now your guy becomes just like way different. You hit like a pivotal point in the game and your character just becomes way better. You're getting a lot more upgrades, a lot more customization and the fighting style just is enhanced tenfold. It's so much more fun. It's so much more satisfying. The combos make more sense. Everything about the game just clicks. And once you finally like get that S rank and you get a good combo going and a good streak, it looks insane on the screen. There's so much going on and it's just so much fun and so satisfying and so rewarding. And it's a typical platinum game of a very complex, deep, rich, fulfilling combat system that I've been having a blast with. And there's a couple different play styles you can play. I've been playing it with like the true platinum type game style. And it's it's deep, it's rewarding, there's a lot of dodging, there's a lot of combos, there's a lot of frustration at times as well, where I'm like, oh, just one more run, just like, I gotta get the S rank, you gotta go. But I've been having a blast with it, and the further I've been getting with the game, the more I've been enjoying it. So, this is definitely one I didn't think I was going to enjoy at first, because I was like, wow, this is a little slow, and this combat system kind of sucks, but then, once you get the, like, two and a half hour mark, I'm like, oh my god. And then, now I think I'm about, like, seven hours into it now. I've been having an absolute blast with it. The gameplay is just so much fun. 
Um, the story is kind of all over the place. It's kind of funny. It's like every anime trope that you can throw at this thing, it really just fits into it. And and I love it. It's it's so stupid and cheesy and over the top, but it's I don't know. It, I think it's meant to be like that. And even if it's not, I'm I'm enjoying the hell out of it. It's 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 a great time. Look, if I've never changed your diapers, you don't get to call me dad. And neither do you, Akira. Just keep it professional. It's Captain here. So which one have I enjoyed more? Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I think Astral Chains is going to be my game of the month only because of that gameplay. Man, it's a blast. And as much as I've been enjoying Control, I think Control might be a one and done. Once I play it, get through, I don't know if I'll go back to it. I, I might try and go and collect the rest of it, but Astral Chains is one like, oh no, I know I'm going back and I'm getting S rank. I'm going to play through it. I'm going to try and collect everything. That's the one I think I'm going to come back to just because it's the, the gameplay is so good. So satisfying. You will not go wrong picking either of these games. If you're more into hack and slash and you can only, you're only going to get one of these games, obviously go for Astral Chains. If you're more into like a deep story and like you want more of like kind of focused gameplay, um, a little bit more like obviously like a third person shooter, pick Control. I mean, if you can get both, get both. They're both great, fantastic games. You can't go wrong with either of them, but Astral Chains is my game of the month for this month. And I cannot wait, we're hitting holiday season. Oh, it's such a great time for gaming and I'm so pumped. But anyway, this is kind of a new video format for me. Hopefully you liked it. I'm not doing anything scripted. I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. A little bit crazy, I'm rambling, I'm talking too long. But anyway, thank you as always so much for watching and until the next one. <laughs>